In this video, I'm going to take you through what is 17 hats. We're going to discover this awesome client management system and all the things it has to offer. So let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey from Design by Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach other creative entrepreneurs how to run a streamlined, profitable, and successful business. And that streamlining is where client management systems come in handy because they can take a ton of tools, combine them into one, keep all your information in one place, and help you communicate with your clients a lot better. I've spent a lot of time reviewing some of the other systems, Zipsadio and HoneyBook, and my first impression here is that 17 Hats is has a little bit more of that classic professional vibe. It feels sturdier in a way. It doesn't feel like it was made just for creative. So if you're not a creative entrepreneur, uh, this is a great option if you want to have a little bit more of that classic professional feel. After exploring a little bit, I think that 17 Hats doesn't have some of the flashy things that some of the other systems have, but it feels like it's organized a little bit better and it feels like it is just a little bit more solid. It doesn't feel like you'd have any um, glitchy moments or disconnects or emails not getting into inboxes and that kind of thing. I can't say because I've been using it for five years like I have the other systems, uh, but that's my first impression of it is it feels really solid and a little bit, um, just a little bit simpler from a feature perspective than some of the other ones, but it's still got everything that you could need. So we're on our dashboard, you can see a lot of things here, this is my demo account, so I don't have any um, actual client activity in here. You can go up into this section and fill out like all of your brand preferences, email settings, client portal. Um, you can create what are called canned, canned emails or template emails. So for instance, um, let's edit this one. This one just says your appointment's confirmed. You have these merge fields, which will uh, be by the project. So you can include someone's first name and then when you send this email within their project, it will include their first name. It'll say, hi, Lainey, thanks for scheduling your consultation. Um, and these are all things that you can customize and do whatever you want. So these are always email templates. What I recommend doing here is paying attention to any emails you're sending more than once, any questions you're answering for your clients, any resources that they're missing that could help them ask you fewer questions. Um, put those in a canned email template and add that to your workflow so that every client gets those resources and you answer those questions before they've even asked. That's gonna make you look very professional on top of it. They're gonna love working with you. And they also have custom fields here. I have a whole video on how to do this in Dubsado. It's very similar here in 17 Hats, but I love that because a lot of the other systems don't have that and allows you to uh, customize. Like we have that uh, project name and first name. So for instance, if you're a wedding planner and you wanna do a custom field that's got a venue, then you can create emails where it'll automatically enter in the venue for whichever project that email is attached to, which is really cool. So to base level, 17 hats is divided by contacts, which is why it's the first tab over here, whereas some of the other systems divide more by project. Um, this is kind of cool. I think a lot of businesses prefer to go by contact. I think of my clients mostly from their first names as opposed to the name of their project. So you can go in, add a contact super easily, basic contact form. There's even a larger contact form if you wanna do more things there. Um, leads, this is just like some of the other systems where you can create a lead form and then actually embed it into your site. So I'll show you mine, which is in, it's embedded from Dubsado. It's gonna be a very similar thing here, but it looks like it's on my website. But when someone fills that out, I'll actually get an email saying that I have a new lead. So you'd get that here from 17 Hats and it goes ahead and creates the client and the project in the system for you. So you don't have to do that when someone feels like your contact form. I have a further video about how to do that in Dubsado if you wanna dive into that. And then projects are the individual projects. So you might have a client that you work with four or five different times. So each project will have its own interface here and you can put in documents, dates, etc. this budget of $50,000 um, for the individual project. You can also add workflows, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, you can connect contacts. So if you're working with a wedding planner, you can connect a wedding planner to the engaged couple's contact information and then all the communications will go to everyone, which is really nice. This is where 
um, you can add in any of your template forms. So like a questionnaire, I would use a questionnaire to collect the info for the invitation, names, dates, location, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you can add an invoice or a quote, contract, event. I like that you can do time tracking here, which is really nice. Um, and then any kind of tasks or workflows and things. Again, I got to workflows in a minute. You can also take notes where the client um, isn't going to see those, which I really like. And then like a lot of the other systems, this one has a client portal, which is kind of automatically activated when you create a project, which I really like. And any documents that you add will be viewable to the client here. This is really helpful. They can see their invoice. They can see past proofs, current proofs. They can see all the different things that uh, you've worked through throughout the project, which I really like. Something kind of cool here is that the client portal is really easy to just toggle on and off, but you can also toggle a lot of other options. So you have this welcome message. You can say, oh, I don't want any questionnaires to be viewable in the portal. Um, you can have a nice cover image that you create, password protection, um, and there's just a lot of things you can do here. So I like the way that their portal setup is because it feels a little bit easier than some of the other systems. We've gone back up into the settings and I've gone to uh, invoice options. So you can actually collect payments through 17 hats like you can with all the other systems. You can use Stripe, Square, PayPal, or Authorize.net, which I love. You can connect any of the accounts. These have very similar transaction fees. Um, I'm not a huge fan of PayPal if you've watched any of my other videos <laughs> because they don't. They usually side with the client and not with the business. So I like Stripe and Square. I actually use um, Stripe for my payment processing. And then there's actually pretty good uh, bookkeeping options here in 17 Hats, not so much in some of the other systems. You can actually connect all of your bank accounts here. And so what I like about this is it doesn't only incorporate the payments that you get within this system. So if you get payments in another way, they can be pulled in through here. You can add your expenses, that kind of thing. Personally, I still really like QuickBooks for accounting because it's the accounting standard and my accountant loves it. Uh, whereas if I was gonna give this to my accountant, she wouldn't be as familiar with the system. And so to me, it's still worth it to pay for QuickBooks as a second option, but uh, 17 Hats has one of the best standalone bookkeeping features that I've seen in all of the uh, client management systems. If you go into this uh, templates, like documents and emails, we talked about some of these, but I love that they have a template marketplace. And then I just wanna show you um, in their questionnaires what the different options are. So if I go to edit this particular questionnaire, you can add a question and the options are all of these, which is pretty great. I love that there's an image option. Um, you can get related contacts, text, check boxes, short, long, etc. So when you're going through a questionnaire, you can make it look like pretty much whatever you want. It has a little bit more capability than HoneyBook, um, a little bit less capability than Dubsado, in my opinion, but I think it's got everything you want. That's something that would not be a game changing decision maker for me. And then they have this marketplace full of templates that you can purchase or that a lot of them are free um, in case you want to see what other people have done and go ahead and just import those. And last, which I think is like the powerful thing about a lot of these client management systems is the workflow section. So once you've got questionnaires, invoices, proposals, canned emails, all that stuff set up, you can actually automate a lot of this with a workflow. So if you go into this template, I'll just do Laney's workflow. You can do as many as you want here. Um, and you'll add basically an action, a pause, or a task. And the actions can be anything from sending an email, questionnaire, quote, contract, invoice, starting a workflow, changing your calendar, or archiving the project. So even if you just set up the workflow so that it archives the project when you're done, I mean, you're saving yourself time. But if you really dig into all the different things you can do with these workflows, it's incredible. Like you can set it up to send an email after the contract is signed. You can set it up to send a questionnaire after they've selected a certain thing um, or send a contract or an invoice. You can make it pause until you've, you know, edited whatever you need to edit and then send it over and then the workflow resumes. So, so you can set it to send an email right after um, the base date or something, which is gonna be the project date. So if it's the wedding day, I can have it send an email three weeks after the wedding saying, hey, really enjoyed working with you. I'd love to see pictures when you get them from your photographer and here's where you can leave a review for my services. Um, so 
even something as simple as that, like that's the thing I always forget to do is go back and add reviews. So if I can automate that for all of my clients, then I'm gonna go ahead. It's gonna help me get more business, collect those reviews, um, and then you can also set it up to send emails and questionnaires that will save you time during the process as well. So that's just one example, but these workflows are very powerful. And I think um, the 17 hats workflow is pretty robust. It's not the most robust one out there, but it's a good option to get started with it. So I hope you'll see that kind of what I was talking about at the beginning, this system feels really solid. It feels like it works really well. It feels like it all makes sense. Everything's in the right places. There's a good user experience. It's not the flashiest in the world, but I also went to brand preferences and I'm showing you how you can upload, change colors, change fonts. You can make these things look a little bit how you want to, even though it's not going to be you know, so customized, but you also have a subdomain, which is cool. So I can do like dbil.17hats.com so that when everything um, comes up with my documents and my pages, people aren't like, oh, what is this 17 hats? They can see my business name in there and it makes sense to them. So I do like that feature. Um, and I think that overall, the system has everything you need. If you especially aren't in a visual creative field, the system's gonna be great for you. Um, you can check out some of the other videos that I have on the playlist about how to dive more into some of the features here, as well as checking out some of the other platforms in case you're interested in looking at a few different ones and seeing what feels right for you. But I love 17 hats. I think it just feels really solid and good and it's been around for a long time. So uh, you can't really go wrong with this system. Uh, there's not very many big cons to it, except that it doesn't have some of the like really flashy stuff that some of the other systems have. Also, of course, I have a discount code for you. You can get 10% off your subscription if you use the link in the description of this video. So let me know what you think. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see diving into these features, or if you want me to check out any other client management systems along the way.